hello guys welcome to dried crunch and i'm lokesh kapoor and in this video we are going to see in action how we can make use of counter field for elemental perform uh, that is an extension by dynamic o so if you haven't downloaded the plugin you can check out the link in the description and you can get 10 percent right away uh, by buying uh, dynamic o plugin so yeah it's a crazy plugin which can then like uh, tons of things for you if you are using elementor it's like a boon for you so uh, i don't want to talk more about it because when you just land on your page you will get to know how you know practically um, perfect plugin that is yeah so in this video we are going to use uh, their counter field extension which is very useful when you want to show the customer the number of uh, submissions uh, already done on the form or you want to restrict uh, uh, the user to submit the form when number of submissions are already done so basically it tells you uh, the number of submissions and it can iterate based on that and yeah so without you know wasting your time let me just show you how you can use it so first of all i will you know drag and drop the form widget on page and let me just uh, adjust this one first okay so like this what I always do, just click on style and give it spacing something like 6, 8 maybe. And I will just uh, remove these fields which I don't want. It's so probably these two. And then I will choose a uh, select field. For example, we want to make a form through which people can you know buy the product. And for example, we can use on the token here, which will say uh query product mm, and then can say like options right so this is the product that i have in my woocommerce i have only one product so it's showing me only one product if I will add more products in my uh, products list in the WooCommerce, then I will be able to see all of them. So it will query all the products. You can also create post and then click on options. So it will fetch all the posts instead of products. Right. So here I have all these posts. Okay. So now what I will do, I will just add one more field that is of type counter that's a new field type which you can use so here is the starter counter which by default is zero and it will iterate with this number you can make it two or three based on the requirement but i will keep it to one the basic one because it's very useful that you keep it to one because you get to know exactly the number of times it is um, you know being executed so yeah i will keep it to one and I'll also i can also hide the counter if i want but for this example i will show it to you so that you can understand uh, how it is performing right i will just also give it a name that's counter and yeah so let me just update this for now and let me show you the page so it's like this you can say name testing and choose any post so when you send this form first of all let me just uh, change its action I will remove this email action and probably I will keep the call submission option enabled so it's zero for now let me send it okay the form is sent successfully now let me reload this page so one submission was done so now it is one okay so testing counter one is there okay so when i again click on hit this it's now saying uh, successfully done now when i reload this page counter is two so we have done like two submissions and counter is saying two okay uh, so for example if i want to say that uh, two forms have been already sent because i am on this page i should know that how many forms have already been sent so it is showing me already the amount so two is like 
two times already sent so we are already on the right path we don't need to change these numbers which are over here so we are fine with this so we can say in the message probably with using this uh, action called message generator we can say message generator and we can change this counter field id to count counter we can say and then we can copy this and in message generator we can say uh, users have already purchased this product okay and for making it more fancy we can also say hey and then we can say name and then okay so it will be like hey in the name field and then number of times it has been submitted and users have already purchased this product then we can update this and see how it works we had done like two times okay so let's reload this and it's two times because we didn't uh, you know submit this form so let's uh, make it testing for example i can write my name Lokesh, and then send it so it's saying hey Lokesh, two users have already purchased this product but by making this uh, form as submit i have made it three so when i reload this it would be three okay now when i do this it's saying hey three users have already purchased this product fine it's going good right so when if i want to restrict the users for example if i have only five quantities and three times users have already purchased the product so two times left right so what what i will do i will just uh, go in the conditional validation i will enable this validation and i'll say uh, the field id that is counter is uh, like five we can say less than five okay right and we can say uh, products all products are sold please come back later and we can also attach this error to a field we can attach this to probably counter and we can also you know hide the form submit button if the condition is not satisfied but let's go with it okay let's reload this form let's say testing send four users have purchased this product okay now it is five let's send this again okay all products are sold please come back later fine so this is working perfectly fine so it counted the number of times and then executed it pretty well so if you are in the wrong anywhere like if your counter and number of submissions are not matching then you can adjust them by make some adjustments in this uh, initial encounter value right so probably that can fix it and this is how you can you know utilize this counter field you can also make use of this field uh, together with your uh, reference field that is a uh, unique id field okay and you can attach this unique id field in your message and send it to your users and they will be able to understand through the number number of submission as well so this is how you can you know utilize this counter field for your elementor perform and make it you know more usable and it will make more sense to the user submitting the form so i hope you like this video and if you liked it please give it a huge thumbs up and if you want you can also join our you know uh, you can also join our facebook page that is here elementary pro users so if you want to you know get some assistance or you want to watch more videos more content here is our community we are we're there like 75 members as of now and you can uh, join it and make it more meaningful we are already having some uh, good uh, 
uh, interaction but not too much so i am just uh, uh, making it more and more usable for the community and so that we can you know uh, solve the user queries in real time okay so yeah this is all for this video if you liked it please uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for watching more videos like this have a great day bye bye thank you so much